Hey everybody, welcome to this video and welcome to Marty and Carrie. I have got my husband here today working with us. Today we have one block of work. We are going to do two rounds of it. We're going to work 45 seconds on, 15 seconds transition into the exercises. This is a really functional workout. Um, with compound exercises. These exercises mimic our everyday movements that are super important. We are gonna add a little bit of resistance. Now, if you are just starting out, don't worry about any weight, just follow along with the movement patterns. That's what I always say. And then as you get stronger, you can build in the resistance. Um, we are going to work in all different planes from our sagittal plane, our frontal plane, and our transverse plane. Um, so we make sure we're doing everything we do within our daily activities because we're always turning and twisting and moving sideways and back. So we want to incorporate that within our workout. So again, we've got one block of exercises, six exercises. We'll do two rounds and we're going to warm it up. Are you ready? I will give you lots of cues and my husband will be a good model here. He will do awesome. <laughs> Alrighty, so we're gonna just start with our feet about shoulder width apart. Again, always remember to pull that belly button in, keep that core strong, and just relax the shoulders from the ears. We're gonna take a big breath up. We're gonna exhale, tuck those elbows into the back pocket, and then we're gonna exhale into forward fold. And then we're gonna just slowly roll up one vertebra at a time, and then we're gonna come back up and we're gonna roll up those shoulders. We're gonna do that three more times, taking a big breath up. Exhale those elbows into the back pocket. Exhale back down and then slowly roll up one vertebra at a time, nice and easy, roll out those shoulders again. Let's do that two more times, big breath up. Kind of fun doing this with my husband, exhale. And then exhale, forward fold, and then roll it up. It's nice to have a partner doing it together. And one more time, big breath up. Exhale, tuck those elbows in the back pocket. And then exhale back down and then roll it up nice and easy. Roll out those shoulders nice and gentle. Then we're going to go into a squat hinge. So we're going to go into the squat. We're going to squeeze those shoulder blades together and then we're going to hinge. So we're going to take those hands behind the head. A little hinge where we shoot the hips back and back into that squat. So we're going to go down and then we're going to come back. So when you're hinging, you want to make sure you let those hips go back to the opposite end of the room. And when you're squatting, you want to let those hips come back and down, putting the weight kind of into your middle foot and heel. Awesome. Keeping that chest lifted, that spine nice and long. And remember, you're having fun. It's the most important thing. Fun. Right, hun? <laughs> okay, here we go back down. Squeeze it in little hinge. So remember, you might be working a little faster than us, but just remember to just keep it in control. We want to make sure everything is good form and we're not going to hurt ourselves. Let's go two more. Good squeeze of the shoulder blade and then that hinge and then one more time. Then we're going to go into some side laterals. So we're going to move that way. We're going to just shift that one side. You got it. We're going to come back up and shift and to the other side. So just hinging from the hips, keeping the body nice and tall, and again, focusing on keeping those feet nice and parallel. Beautiful. That's it, guys. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Awesome. Okay, we're gonna go three more. Last two, big reach up. And one more to go. Then we're gonna bring it in, and we're just gonna go with a little bit of rotation. So just tapping, keeping the elbows high, rotating through that spine. Beautiful. Go to go. Four more, three, last two, and then let's bring those knees up. Let's tap them in. Beautiful. Looking good. Just getting all those movement patterns in that we're gonna use today. Let's go eight more, eight, seven, six, five, you're doing awesome. <laughs> last two and last one. And then we're gonna take it and we're gonna lunge back. So again, oh, bring yourself up there, babe. Slippery fourth. We don't want them falling. Okay, here we go. Back, beautiful. Just take your time. Remember, it doesn't have to be a really deep lunge. You just wanna open up. And if you need to hold onto a chair, 
please feel free. Let's go four more. Four. Three Martin, six foot four, so he's got a little bit of height on me. Last two right here. And last one, and then we'll bring it back up, and then we'll rotate. You got it. Oh, yes. You're doing awesome. Oh, yes, you are. <laughs> That's it, looking good. Okay, four more. Last four, three, two, and last one, and then just give it a shake, awesome. Okay, I think we are ready to go into the workout. So we're gonna grab one weight. Remember, if you don't wanna use any weight, you don't have to. Um, we're gonna go, I'm gonna go 12. Martin's gonna go for about a 20 pounder. We're gonna start off, actually, I'm just gonna grab the other one. I'm gonna sneak out because we do need two for this. And here we go. So we're gonna start off with a hinge row. So we wanna make sure we're setting those shoulder blades back, pulling the ribs in. Again, I'll move my body just so you can see all different directions. We're gonna hinge one, and then we're gonna row one, bring it back down, and we're gonna come back up, okay? So we got 45 seconds on, and then 15 transition in between um, exercises. Are we ready? Here we go. So we're gonna hinge, squeeze, back up. So remember, if you don't, want to use any weight just follow along with the movement pattern so when you're hinging we want to make sure we keep the weight close to the body again let those hips go back to the opposite side of the room keep that chin tucked in long spine shoulders are stacked back awesome so hinging whoopsie is something we do every day but we want to make sure we are strong through that posterior chain, the back side of us, so we don't hurt ourselves. Now remember, everyone may be working at different tempos, so make sure you have good control behind the exercise. Almost there, we got five seconds to go. Beautiful. I'm gonna do one more. Awesome. And then we're gonna transition. We're gonna put one weight down. We're gonna take a breath. Next exercise is our goblet squat. So we're gonna hold the weight right into our chest. We're gonna come down with a little bit of a pulse and back up, okay? On your mark, get set and go. So we're gonna go down, pulse and back up. And as we know, squats are something we do every day. Getting on and off the chairs, on and off the toilet. <laughs> we wanna be strong. We want to be able to get ourselves off the chairs without any problem. Beautiful. So we want to anchor the weight into the midfoot heel. Chest is up really neutral spine. Shoulders are back. Let those hips come back and down. We've got 15 seconds. Awesome. That little pulse at the bottom will get you. Oh yes. Okay, five seconds to go. One more time. Beautiful. We're gonna shake it out. Take a breath. How are you feeling? Good. Awesome. <laughs> so we're gonna put the weight down and we're gonna go into our step out push up, okay? So this is what it looks like. I'm gonna elevate myself. I'm gonna get my husband to do the harder version. So I will give you many options as we go. So we're gonna put the hands down. We're gonna step out, step out, go into a push up. Step back in, nice and wide, and stand up. Option is stepping out, going onto the knees and elevating yourself at the same time, then stepping back in, back up. So try and change feet, I know I forgot. You got it, guys. We're into it, 10 seconds. Beautiful. That's it, back up. Option is to, if you're just starting out, you can keep going, babe. You can keep going. You can just take it to a push up on the wall if that's where you're just starting. This is a great exercise because as we age, we want to be able to get on the floor and off the floor. I forgot my push up there. So remember, wherever you're comfortable, we're really focusing a lot on everything here. That core has got to work hard. Those shoulders, the chest, triceps have to work hard. Everything's working hard. We've got 15 seconds to go, guys. 
Beautiful. Can we get one more in there? Oh yes. Awesome, okay, give that a shake. We're gonna pick up that weight again. So again, transitioning into that next exercise, we're gonna move lateral. So I'm gonna move up here so I don't crash. We're gonna take it to the side. We're gonna curl it up and press, okay? So here we go, we're gonna, we're gonna just switch sides. You gotta go put it in that hand. Awesome, I'm gonna go that way. Okay, here we go, in, pressing it up. And the other side. Just taking your time really long through the spine, keeping those feet parallel to the ground. Awesome, you guys. And again, everyone's tempo is gonna be different. You might be faster than me, but make sure, again, you have that control. You might be slower than me, which is okay. If you don't wanna use any weight, you don't have to use any weight. Awesome. That's it, guys. We've got about 30 seconds to go. Beautiful. Nice and long through that spine. Go, Marty, go watch the floor. Sometimes this floor gets a little slippy. We don't want crashes. <laughs> awesome. Beautiful. That's it. Nice long through that leg. So try and straighten that one leg to the side. One more. Perfect, guys. Then give that a shake. Take a breath. Next exercise, number five, a little bit of ro rotation. So we're gonna get two sides. This is what it looks like before we go into it. Crossing over the shoulder, slow on the way down to the hip, okay? So we're going 45 seconds, good control. Are you ready? Lots of core work here. So we're throwing it over, slow down. A little quicker over, a little slower on the negative. That's it. You got it, team. When you pivot on that toe, squeeze those glutes. Awesome. So we're doing everything upright pretty well. Lots of core involved. Again, lots of compound moves, working through more than one joint, working more, more than one muscle group. Beautiful. Okay, we've got about 10 seconds to go. Breathe. Remember you're having fun. That's it, last one. And then transition, take a breath. Switching into the other side. How's it feeling, babe? Good. Good. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> Are you ready? Here we go, other side. So you're gonna come over. That's it, and back down. So you got that pivot, you wanna squeeze the glutes. You really wanna be mindful on that movement, especially on the negative. So you're over the shoulder and then slow on that negative. Good job. And same thing, if you don't want to use a weight, you don't have to use a weight. You can just go with the movement patterns. Where you're squeezing those glutes, getting that rotation through that trunk. Awesome. Almost there. Let's go two more. And then one more to go. Awesome. Okay, one more exercise to go, and then we've got one more round. So we're gonna take a breath. We're gonna go into a goblet lunge. This is what it looks like. We're gonna alternate lunges backwards on the spot. So watch your toes here, babe. Okay, you guys, so nice and tall. When you're ready, just take your time. Lunging backwards. We've got 45 seconds. I just, you just gotta take your time. Think of dropping down into that lunge rather than rocking back. You wanna put that weight into the foot in, in front of you. So right into the midfoot, heel, push through it as you come up. Awesome. That's it, guys. We're having fun now, I'm warm. I was cold, not anymore. We've got 15 seconds to go. Awesome. Marty's breathing a little heavy. Okay, can we get two more, babe? Yeah. yeah. One more to go. Perfect, shake it out, take a breath. If you need to grab some water, grab some water. We're gonna go back to the beginning where we go back to the hinge and the row, okay? 
So we're gonna pick up both weights this time. Let's give you another 10 seconds here to take a breath if you need to wipe your brow. So when you're ready, let's pick up double weights and we'll go back to that hinge row, okay? So we got 45 seconds, we can do this, we'll work as a team. You guys are awesome, remember? Ooh. It's all about the movement. Are we ready? I think so. Okay, on your mark, get set, here we go. So hinging, good squeeze of the shoulder blade, back up. I'm gonna face this way just so you can see. Squeeze of the shoulder blade, back up. Hinge, squeeze, back up. So remember, let those hips shoot back. Keep those weights like you're shaving your leg. They're close to your legs. Really long neutral spine. You wanna almost feel like you're lifting that bum up a bit. Take your time. We wanna really think when we're hinging, we set that core upright. Squeeze the glutes at the top, but don't arch your back. So you wanna think, be really mindful, squeezing the bum and not throwing your back. One more. Beautiful, okay. We're gonna drop one weight. We're gonna transition into that goblet squat. So again, on this one, we're holding the weight close. We're gonna go down with that little pulse. I think we're ready. Are you ready? Here we go. So we're going down one, little pulse back up. Awesome. One, two, back up. Awesome job, guys. We can do this. So same thing with that squat, chest is up. Don't let those knees fall in and put that weight in midfoot into the heel. Drive up from the heel. Squeeze your glutes at the top, but you don't arch the back. Awesome. As I said, we squat all day long. Oh yes, we do. That's it. We got about 10 seconds to go. Almost there. Let's do one more. We got this. Back up. Take a breath. Putting the weight down. We're gonna go back to our step out push up, walk ins, okay? You can elevate yourself as high as you want. So if you have a counter and you wanna do this on a counter, great. And then you can progress to a lower level and then to the ground on your knees. So many options. Are we ready? Here we go. Stepping down, one leg out, a little push up. Step that leg back in. Does not have to be fast, but if you feel really comfortable with it, again, go with your tempo. So Martin and I will probably be a little bit, he's probably faster than me. He's gotta go to the ground. Option is dropping to the knees, then stepping in, bringing it up. Go where you are happy. Oh yeah. Okay, we're getting closer. Hanging in there. I think we can get one more in there, babe. Awesome, guys. Bring it up. How are you feeling? Tired. <laughs> All right. Going into those lateral hinges. So the lateral side lunges, alternating with the weight. Take that breath. We got about five more seconds as we move through this. So we're gonna move this way first. Are you ready? Yep. Your market set and go. So nice hinge. I'm gonna curl and press. You got it. We're always putting things over our heads throughout the day. And we always wanna remember when we're putting anything weighted over our head, a lot of core is involved. So you wanna make sure you're really mindful on what that core is doing. You're keeping the ribs flat. You're pulling the belly button in. You got it, guys. Awesome. And you wanna to remember to breathe. We got this too. <laughs> That's a good thing. That's what we wanna do. We wanna raise that heart rate, raise those good chemicals, move that oxygen and that blood flow our brain get those good chemicals through our muscles again working sending them up to the brain to keep that brain happy we want to do that 
like I say, what we do for the body, we do for the brain. So important. Awesome, okay, we got 10 seconds. Sometimes I talk too much. That's it. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go one more each side, just because it's an added bonus. <laughs> awesome. And back up. Awesome job, guys. Take a breath. We're gonna go into that rotation. So the one side, 45 seconds. Switch to the other side for 45 seconds. Keeping it nice and tall, you got it. Here we go. So we're gonna pivot over, squeeze the glutes slow on the negative. So really be mindful when you pivot, you're squeezing the glutes. Squeeze. Beautiful, we got about 30 seconds. So you can go quick over, but you wanna think of the core. Just think, be a little slower on that negative. Lots of control. Working that core. 15 seconds. Awesome. He's getting his workout in today. Okay, one more time. Shake it out. Breathe, take 15 seconds here. Move into the other side. So again, getting yourself nice and centered. We're going over that other. You can go that way, babe. <laughs> Perfect. Everyone does that though. I do that. <laughs> Perfect. Little pivot on the toes. Squeeze those glutes. Oh yes. Go, Martin. Go. That's it. Awesome. Okay, we've got 30 seconds, guys. Squeeze that glute. Remember, slow on the negative. Awesome. Okay, we've got 15 seconds. We can do anything for 15 seconds. Remember, you can put the weight down. You don't have to use weight. You can slowly progress to that weight. It's progressive overload. One more. Oh yeah. Okay, one more exercise. Then we did two blocks of those six exercises. We're gonna go back to that goblet lunge. Take a big breath. When you're ready, on your mark, get set and go. Just watch yourself, hon. So taking it down, just remember, take your time. Center yourself into the midfoot heel. Drive up from that heel in front. Try to keep that hip and the ankle in line and that spine nice and long. So again, just dropping that knee towards the ground. Like almost your both knees are at 90-90. Oh yes, we're having fun now. We're almost there. We've got 15 seconds to go, guys. How you doing, hon? Good. Beautiful. Okay, last 10. Okay, five more to go. Okay, let's get two more lunges in there. And last one. And we can throw that down. Awesome job. Okay, we're gonna throw it down. We're gonna shake it out. We're gonna go back with those elbows. And we're just gonna go nice little rotation pat. That's it, beautiful. That's it, let's go eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and then just shake those arms. Just take yourself a little tap in. That's it, you got it. Just shake it out. Just to bring that heart rate down a little bit more. Awesome. When you're working with compound moves, your heart rate's gonna get up there way more. And then just give me a little shake out, give me a little march. Just kind of shake those arms. You got it. That's the nice thing about compound exercises. You get everything moving, that heart rate gets up. And it's really functional. Alrighty. Just take it out, just shake out those shoulders. We'll just roll them out. And then we'll take a big breath up again. And then we'll exhale to forward fold again. And then we'll roll it up one vertebra at a time again. We're gonna do that three more times, just like we did in the beginning. Take a big breath up. Exhale, tuck those elbows in the back pocket, open up the chest. Exhale down. Roll up one vertebra at a time. Roll up those shoulders. Let's do that two more times. Big breath up. 
breath up. Exhale, tuck those elbows back, pocket. Exhale, forward fold. Roll it up. Shoulder roll, and then one more time, you guys. Big breath up. Exhale, tuck those elbows back. Good job. Exhale, forward fold. Roll it up one vertebra at a time. Nice and gentle. Roll out those shoulders. And then take a big breath and just kind of reach from side to side. So you're gonna to reach to one side and then you'll reach to the other side. Awesome, just opening up through the side body. Nice and gentle. You got it. One more time, your side. Go, buddy, go. And that last one. And then we'll just open through the back and chest. So we're gonna roll forward and then we're gonna open through the chest again. And then we're gonna roll forward and through the chest. Awesome, and roll forward. And last one, awesome. Then just shake out those shoulders, awesome. Just bring those arms around, kind of ravel. If you can grab them here, great. If you're just here, as far as you need to go. It's okay, just go like this. You got it, perfect, that's perfect. And then just pulling the shoulders away from the ears, relax them away from those ears and just take some big breaths. And then we're gonna re-ravel to the other side. Awesome, yeah, that's good, Marty. And then just relax. And then re-ravel, we're gonna take the hands on the thighs, we're gonna come into a flat back, nice and easy, and then we're gonna do that cat roll all the way up, nice and gentle. And again, hands on the thighs, flat back down, stick your bum out, and then roll up one vertebra at a time. Awesome, let's go two more times. Flat back down, and then roll up one vertebra at a time. Beautiful. And then one more time, you got this? Yep. Flat back, roll it, and then relax. And then let's just place one foot in front. We're gonna hinge from the hip. So you're gonna put your bum back, perfect, you got it. So just go where you're comfortable. Now, if you aren't comfortable here and you have a chair and you wanna hold on to it or you wanna go up to the side of the wall into this position, please feel free. And then we're gonna slowly bring it back up and we'll switch to the other side. So again, keeping the spine nice and long, you can always come to the, you got it babe, just hinge back. You can come to the wall too if you want. Just keeping everything nice and long. Just targeting those little hamstrings a bit. And then bringing it back up. And then we'll just take that one leg back and we'll just open up right here through that anterior chain a little bit more. Opening through the calves, the back of the, the back of the leg, the bottom of the back of the leg. And then slowly release. And then one more time, just opening nice and gentle. Perfect. And then back up. And then we're just gonna shift to one side nice and easy, opening through those inner thighs a bit. That's it. Now again, if you can switch sides, huh? If you're not comfortable with that, you can always come to a wall and hold that wall or a couch. And then we'll switch one more time each side. Hinge. And then one more time to this side. Beautiful. Nicely done. And then back to the center. Walk your feet in. One more time, a little flat back. And then one more time, roll up like a cat. And then just roll those shoulders back. Take a big breath through your nose again. Exhale through your mouth. And then shake it out one more time. Awesome job. Give me five. I hope you guys enjoyed that. It was fun doing it with my husband. Um, remember to subscribe, tell a friend. If you guys liked it, give me the thumbs up. And I, maybe Marty and I, will both see you in the next one. Good. <laughs>